Eric, good to hear that you've got a brand new agency under your belt at Dugard. Uh, firstly, for our viewers, tell us what that agency is. Uh, it's a company called Hanwha. Uh, they're very well known in uh, Asia, particularly obviously Korea. That's their home base. Uh, they've been uh, making these machines for a long time and uh, we hope to sell a few in the UK. Well, it's quite apt that we've obviously got the machine tool behind us here, sliding head lay, then also uh, the robot arm behind us. That's, that's two of the products that you'll be uh, supplying, isn't it? Let's start with the sliding head. It's a massive range, isn't it? It is. I mean, they're a big uh, group. Obviously, um, there's lots of other aspects of the company. They're involved in finance, um, aerospace, uh, military equipment, that sort of thing. But the sliding head um, side of the machines have been produced since... 1973 in Korea and I mean they're building them to the highest quality uh, ranging from 3 mil to 48 mil. Well that's what we're going to see yeah. as we walk round uh, with Eric, we're going to see everything from this uh, 38 mil machine down to uh, a 7, did you say 7 mil? 7 mil on the, on the stand, yeah. Okay, with a multitude of axes configurations. Uh, so this is the 38 mil machine, yeah. is it quite a standard machine that we got here um, Eric? It looks well I, I think anybody used to using sliding head machines will immediately recognise that it's got all the features of most of the um, machines on the market double Y axis, we've got a B axis option available, that sort of thing. And this is when you start going up to those bigger bar capacities, isn't it? Which is now becoming quite common with sliding head technology. Yeah, it seems uh, everybody seems to be moving up in size. It started off with over 10, 16, 20 mil capacity, but now it's getting bigger all the time. But these guys will go up to 48, did you say? Yeah, 48 on a sliding head uh, machine, which is very unusual. Wow, okay, so let's let's walk around here. Let's, um, I mean, let's, let's stop at this robot as well first, Eric. On here, What's the reason for you bringing these into the UK market? How is this going to help Dugard? Uh, it's all part of the package really um, from Hanwha. They're, it's a very uh, innovative unit. It can be used in collaboration with human uh, operators. That's the whole point, as, hence the collaborative name. So it's a collaborative robot, yeah. um, and, and you're going to be uh, putting these onto your machine tools, or offering it as part of a solution to, to engineering companies and manufacturers? Uh, definitely, and uh, obviously for other applications, we've had a lot of inquiries from the plastics industry, for instance, and other uh, walks of life that we've never been involved in before. And automation's a big thing these days. I'm, I'm assuming this is only one of many, many models, because we'll be able to see more at your open house. Uh, initially, yeah, this, they're doing a 3, 5, and a 12 kilo unit, which uh, gives a pretty good range to start with and uh, they're very competitively priced, which I think will be very interesting to people who want to get into automation at a much lower cost. Which is a growing market. Okay, let's go, let's go this way to have a look at uh, two more machines from Hanwha here. I think it'd be interesting to start at this one. Um, this is uh, the, the smallest machine. This is the seven mil bar. It's actually not. They do actually go smaller to a three millimeter machine, but this is you know, obviously pretty small. Uh, with 7 mil capacity. Would you say there's a big market for this in the UK? I mean, I'm thinking about uh, medical, watchmaking, things like that. Is, that. is that where you would assume this sort of machine to uh, go into? Uh, particularly medical. I mean, for instance, we are quoting somebody at the moment on a dental, for a dental application, making dental drills. So, you know, there are customers out there who need that size of machine. And would this have things like milling capability on it, or is it just a straight turning solution? Uh, this one hasn't got milling, no, it's just straightforward turning. But uh, on the, when you get up to 10 mil, we can start offering the milling option. Great stuff. Okay, so if you move backwards, we then go on to the, uh, this is the 20 mil bar machine. I think I'll move to your right here, Eric, so the yeah, camera yeah. can get into the machine. Again, sub spindle, uh, sliding head lathe. Looks yeah. like you've got plenty of tools in this machine. Is that also a B-axis that stands out to me there? Yeah, it's got a, a B-axis included and also the double Y-axis. So there's a lot of milling tools available on that machine. And also they're using the Siemens control, which is an option. You've got Fanuc or Siemens available. This is a pretty... Uh, pretty compact market in the UK. How do you think you're going to um, not necessarily break into it? Because Dugard's already got quite a lot of experience with sliding heads, haven't you? Is that going to be part of your uh, sort of approach going to existing customers? Yeah, I think um, probably a lot of people are not aware that we do sell a, a quite a few sliding head machines, albeit they haven't got the guy bush fitted. We're using a 32 millimeter machine, which we've had for about seven or eight years now. And there's nearly 200 installed in the UK. So we will be talking to those customers, obviously, and seeing if we can uh, sell them up to the more sophisticated machine. So you've got the technical expertise and the background to be able to uh, support pre-sales and also post-sales. You mentioned an important point there, guide bush and non-guide bush. Are these machines available with that as an option? You can have both. So you, you can have a dedicated machine with a guide bush or you can have dedicated without a guide bush or have one with a removable guide bush. So, you know, hopefully we can meet most people's requirements. I it think that's the price, of course. Yeah. I think that's a big point. I think that's going to be advantageous to us. Yeah. Let's walk yeah. around. 
So then when we come around here, we, we're presented with, the, this is the XE. What does the XE stand for? Uh, it's the entry level machine. They're using a Fanuc Zero I control on this as against the 32i on the XD model. Okay, so you've, you, you've got the affordable option for someone that yep. maybe doesn't want to uh, dip their toes into a, a premium high-end spec machine uh, straight away. That's correct, yeah. So it gives us um, probably that will be the machine that we'd be using to address the, the 32 market that we already service. Okay, and then uh, moving on from that, we then have the XD. So where does this uh, then fit? Well, this is the next step up. This has got more axes. It's got the high-level control, 32 control, or you can have the Siemens control. I mean, they've been very successful with Siemens in Germany, obviously, it's the home market for the Siemens. So it sounds like there's quite a lot of machines in the range. I know we're going to see something a little bit special in a, in a minute, but uh, overall with what we've seen here, how many different machines are there when you take into account the, the, the 7 mil, the 16, the 20, the 38? How many are there in total, do you think? Uh, I hate to think what you would do if you got the combination of the guy bush and non guy bush and so on, but, you know, it's a hell of a range, so I think we've got most bases covered. With that. Okay, let's go and have a look at that special one. So this is a little bit special, a little bit different. This is the STL38H. What is the configuration of this then, Eric? This is a hybrid uh, machine with the sliding head option, or standard, um, with, a, with the uh, turret feature as well. So you've got, the, you've got the normal sort of lathe capability and the sliding head capability in one machine. So why would you spec this out for a client? Would it be based on um, maybe more heavier duty milling required on a component? Exactly right, that's what it gives you more punch in terms of the milling capability and in fact on the turning spindle as well so it's quite a powerful machine. And you mentioned the Guybush and Nongola, have you got the option on this machine as well? So not only have you got a bottom turret, you've got your platens but you've also got Guybush and non-Guybush offering. Exactly, yeah, you can take off the Guybush and use it as a, a normal bar machine uh, or you can use it as a sliding head machine with the, with the Guybush. I can see this as being an attractive offering for engineers certainly that need flexibility because you know sometimes a sliding head might not be have enough grunt to be able to do your work. If you've got that turret there, you, you've, you've got that advantage, haven't you? Yes, and but of course you've got the speed as well, which is important for a lot of subcontractors particularly. You know, they need the, the best of both worlds, so hopefully we can give that. Uh, from, from Dugard's perspective, as we mentioned earlier, you're very, you're very well equipped to be able to supply and su support these machines. Um, how do you think you're going to find uh, getting into a market at the moment, which quite clearly has a, a few companies that have led the way for a while? Is that going to be a challenge for you? Definitely. I mean, we know it's been the market's been dominated by some other companies for a long time. So we hope there's going to be some opportunity that we can um, address that business. And, and where do you think those opportunities would come from? Do you think they're they're, they're down to uh, maybe the, the cost of the machine, maybe some of the uh, the technical elements to the products? I think both. I mean, the machine has got really good uh, quality. Everybody we spoke to, the German customers and uh, dealers here, have said they're really impressed with the, the machine's abilities. But the price, of course, is is also a factor that we got a very competitive price from Korea uh, with, the, with the mix of very good quality. Good stuff. Good yeah. luck with them. Thanks, Eric. Well, thanks very much. Thank you, Paul.